What is up everybody and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. So, I've actually been streaming a lot lately so these recording sessions haven't been happening as often as I like. But I want to let you all know that I have a giveaway going that ends 10 hours from now. It's currently 1 in the afternoon so, oh, fair enough, ends at about 11 or 12 at night. Wait, no, that's that's not how math works. Yeah, it ends at about 11 tonight. So yeah, enter that. It's a giveaway for a, what is it, a $25 Steam or iTunes or Play Store gift card. And as well, come and join my Discord because it's a nice friendly place with a lot of people in. I say a lot of people, I think we've just hit 200 total members. So yeah, come and hang out in Discord. Right, all that out of the way. We are, of course, going out on a raid. Unfortunately, the bunker did reset with a load of my guns and everything inside of it, so I have massively... Uh, I lost about 20 guns. I took about... I had them sitting in a ticket crate, and I'm an idiot, and I forgot to take them out when the bunker reset, so I've just lost so many guns, taken a massive hit to the gun store, which is really unfortunate and completely sucks. But all of that aside, I think that we should have... Oh great, I'm a genius and I didn't actually smelt it. That's going to be... Yeah, that'll make enough hatchets. So what do we need? We need nail and we need tape. And there's something going on here. Is it a dealer? It is the dealer. Hello. You got the puppy deal for us? No. Not interested then, sorry. And there is... New bug code 93547 to anyone that needs it. That should be good for another 48 hours, roughly. From the time of me recording this. From when it comes out, it'll probably be about 36, maybe. I don't know. Right. Okay, so I'm recording this slightly different to usual. I'm recording my... Oh, I've already got hatchets. Recording my microphone and my game all in one audio file. So there's a slight possibility that the game is going to be kind of loud. There we go. I'll turn the buffer down a bit. That should make it a bit quieter. Yeah, look at the levels now. That looks good. Okay. Let's throw all of that stuff into the box. And we've got metal in there too. Nice. Right, so they go up there. Stone hatchets. Get a nice line there. You know what? Let's take an extra stone hatchet as well, just because we got it. Right. And let's do that. That should be good. Right, now, the amazing people in my Discord have started making a list of all the bases that we go out and raid. Well, not personally, but they've been making a list of all the bases that they go out and raid, instructions on where to find the good loot, and what resources you need to take. So, let's take a quick look. Actually, before we do that, gonna need to get another gun, because one fully modded AK, probably not enough. And since we don't tango with the big one anymore... Did I really just use the phrase tango with the big one? Yeah, I think I did. Since we don't fight with the big one anymore, I'm not going to need to use a ton of med kits. Because they've buffed the hell out of them. Right. I think it's actually happening. I'm starting to run out of silenced guns. I mean, I've got a ton of VSS. And what have we got in here? Yeah, a few more in there. But, wow. I have seriously... Burnt through my gun supply. Yeesh. Didn't realize how bad it was. <laughs> I mean, it's still better than a lot of people, so I can't really be complaining about having not many guns. But, I don't know, I prefer to have more than what I've got. I mean, so would everyone, I suppose. Right then, where is our Mr. Chopper? Here you are. Let's drive. Brum, brum, brum. Oh, and of course, thank you everybody for helping me to reach 3,500 subs. It's completely ridiculous. Okay, player 7196. Let's take a look in the raid log chat in Discord. And player 7196 is not in the list at the moment. Okay, so I guess we'll be adding player 7196. We're only adding in bases that have good loot. Let's see what we're going to get from here. Come on, stone walls. Come on, stone walls. Let's first up check if they've got a chopper. Again, another base without a chopper. Ooh. Okay. 
I think this is going to be an open plan base. Looks like they've got bits in the corner for the, what they call the um, horde to attack. Um, I feel like I should drop off my C4 back at the base because that will give me two extra slots to take with me. And for all we know, they could have an absolute ton of guns for us, which would be really nice. I had an amazing raid on stream a couple days ago. Got an inventory completely full of guns, and then I died on the raid. And when I went back, my body was gone. Completely gone. So I managed to get a couple bits of SWAT armor, and that was it. But that really sucked. Okay. And let's drop some C4 into the truck. Right, trusting you lot not to steal that, please. And off we go again. Remembering to take the chopper, because I made that mistake a couple times when scouting bases. Humanitarian aid box. How long's it got on it? Uh, 53 minutes. Yeah, that should be good. Right, we'll head over there afterwards and see if we can get a puppy from it. I've gotten, so far, I think one puppy from an airdrop. Could have been better. Could have been a lot worse. But I have been to a lot of airdrops. It was just a level 1 male. Speaking of which, I've got two female puppies that are going to come out to be level 1. And they are so close to being matured. I think they are about three hours left. But I completely ran out of meat. So if I'm really lucky, this person is going to have a stack of turkeys at this base. Like raw turkey. Hey. And we're in. Right, here's their chopper. Ah, uh, they've invested engine parts in there. Right. Just in case, we'll see what's in this section. Because for all we know, they're going to have some amazing stuff through here. Uh, ah, we can't get past the forge. Alright, so there's a chance they've got copper in this room. Let's go straight for this chest. Right, gun all of these down. That is really, really loud. Eh, that's not too bad. Did take a proper look at what was it. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. And I suppose I can steal that from you as well. Right. Now, at this point, I don't know. I'm not going to bother with any of the other chests in there for now. I think we're going to be able to open most things without summoning in the big one. There we go. Couple of guns. Full set of SWAT. And some more hatchets for us. Exactly what we wanted. Alright, let's take out Toxic Abomination, couple of bloaters. Okay, so the game is pretty damn loud at the moment. I need to turn my headset down. There we go, that should be better. And that's nothing too amazing. Right, what we got in here? Come on, give us something good. Bunch of stone. A bunch of bloody stone. I'm expecting this to have cloth in it as well. Nope. Got some carrot. Hey, they've changed the icon for the steak. Someone told me that the other day, but I didn't properly notice it. Alright, let's use a bandage. And yeah, I think we are going to be able to open all of the chests. I'll soften the remaining chests. Just because it makes it a bit easier. And there we go. Oh yeah, reason, one of the other reasons I'm so short on guns is I had to take on Bunker Floor 4. Jeez, that voice crack. That was hideous. Wow, that... <clears throat> that that was that was pretty impressive. <laughs> okay, let, let's just gloss over that. I'll, I'll edit that out, yeah? Yeah, that, that's definitely not staying in. So I had to take on Bunker Floor 4 on hard mode, which absolutely tore through all of our guns because we had to take out five turrets on that floor. Hey, look at that. Got a nice stone wall there. Right, 81 noise. Three chests left. Okay, so we're going to have to soften some of the chests. One, two, three. Now let's go and grab ourselves the hatchets that we saw in here. There we go. And we'll take, take all of this stuff. I don't think there was anything else that amazing lying around. Nah. Ooh, a couple of workbenches there, but for my experience, workbenches never, ever have anything good in them. Right. Load of spike walls. Uh, I'll, actually, I'm going to drop that in my chopper, 
just to save one nice inventory slot there. And I always get people shouting at me in the comments section if I forget any petrol slash gasoline, but I'm English so I call it petrol or diesel. But I'm going to go for petrol because it's in classic petrol can. Right, already checked that one. No, oh no, we summoned the big one by accident. What are we getting from there? Uh, take the tape and now I'll run away. Time to go. Do not like the big one. He's really, really strong now. Goodbye. <sighs> that was a bit of a pest. Right, so we didn't actually get anything that amazing from the base. Got a couple guns. Guns are always nice. Alright, 12 minutes on that. Two and a half minutes on that. You know what, let's go to the rest stop. I'm sure we can get there in time. So what we're going to need to do, we want to drop off stuff in the base quick as possible. And then we'll run in there. Right. Hello, drop off box. I really wish there was a box that you am buttered so you could drop all items, not take all items. Well, obviously both would be good. And there we go. Okay. Let us go and see what chopper event we're getting. I'm going to call right now that it's going to be the horde. Because the horde is the one that sucks. I don't like the horde. Yep, don't care if there's a crash plane. People, before you start calling me out in the comments, I am not hacking the game. You can only go to the Crash Plane event twice. I have never been there because I went there on my last account and it was pretty awful. Nothing that amazing there. Bit of a Glock if you're lucky. So no, I am not hacking the game. Ah, uh, we got the Horde. Called it. Hey, over here, help me please. Keep up, we're running out of time. Is it the horde? No, nope, it's the trap one. Uh, of course it is. So yeah, there's two like that. And let's go kill the last guy. What are you doing there? And he's dead. See, now why would you do that? Uh, uh, we can take a Gun parts and a backpack, they're always nice to have lying around. And you know what, let's take a single bolt as well. Um, bandages, M16, bit of that. Not the worst loot in the world. And what are you going to give us? A 17 of that from him, I like it. And take this stuff. Oh, apparently we're looting the chopper, not the bag there. Snorkel? No snorkel. But we got a zip gun. Hey, I like the zip guns. They're a nice gimmicky item. I, I use them for killing the frenzy giants on normal mode bunker. Yeah, the zip the zip gun's pretty fun. I like it. It's cost way too much to actually make. I have no idea why they thought that'd be balanced. Here, let me let me take a look. No, it's gonna open. Hey, weapons box. What are we getting? A Glock. Nice. Um, I'll leave behind that. Right, I think that's everything from here, isn't it? Yeah. Any. Deer or anything running around, frolicking. Hey, that's what was I doing? Zip gun, zip gun, zip gun, zip gun. Nah, zip guns before all that. There it is. Two steel bars and an oak plank. Really, really isn't worth it. And five, I can understand the five tape, but that should be pine and I'd say make it ten iron bars and five gun parts, three bolts. Because it's, it's a zip gun, it's nothing amazing. You can't use it for most of the things in the game, and you can't use it on hard mode at all, so there's absolutely no reason why it shouldn't be pretty cheap to make. But I'm not wasting my steel on making 10 zip guns. Okay, so inventory pretty full. Let's head back to the base. Um, save a bit of petrol. Can I run to that? No, that's 15. Great. Feels like all zones are about 15 energy from, from the nearest zone. Because that and that are 15 from each other. I think that is 15 from there. Something like that. Hey, bunny. You alright? <laughs> yeah, you can come out in a bit. So, rabbits up at the glass. Up at the glass. Up at the bars. Begging to come out. Right, let's make a bit more space. We'll equip that to take with us. There we go. And that should be pretty good. Can I drop off some things in here? I can. Lovely. Right, and out we go once again. 
<sighs> this time, over to an airdrop. I wonder if I've actually got enough petrol to make it there. I think it's really cheeky that they don't let you pour on more petrol whilst you're making your way over there, even if you've got it in the tank. Like, you can stop and you can walk the rest of the way, but you can't stop and pour any petrol in. No idea why, that needs to be an option. It, I think it's just a way to get you to buy energy. It's probably completely deliberate. Right, where is a doggo? We're looking for a nice green symbol. Nah, no dog. And I really don't want to do the tactic of spending ages running in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out of the zone. Right, what are we going to get? Anything nice? Saw by mace, bit of iron. Oh dear. Sorry, that, that joke always makes me smile. Bunny! Ugh, she's chewing her bed now. Right, I'm looking for a couple more deer if there's any around. Oh, for some reason they've changed toxic spitters. And now they can hit you from an absolute mile away. No idea why they've done that. Or what thought process went into it. I'm guessing absolutely none. But they could hit you from about six feet away with their hands, not the spit. You know what? Whilst we're here, we might as well head over to the dark zone. Okay, yeah, I suppose it is the dark zone, isn't it? Wool, sector seven. Because I've had a lot of people asking me if I've unlocked the wall, etc., and what's on the other side. Right, so here we are. So I was watching a Star Type video the other day, and he noticed something. There's this conveyor system here. That looks a lot like the ticket crate dispenser that you get in the bunker. And he made a really good point. Let me go through here. Let's put on our suit. But this here looks like the other end of it. It doesn't quite line up there. But you can see on the screen there a path leading round. So that, I'm guessing, or, well, he guessed, will connect up to the ticket crate at the front. So do you think you're going to be able to get infected things, like infected crates and whatever, from out there? Because you can't bring it through normal ways, because, I don't know, the whatever that stops you going through without a radiation suit would pick it up and shut everything down. Here we've got 11 energy to go over there. Let's see if anybody's hanging out that we recognise. I've said it before. I am really disappointed with the infected zone. Because there's really not much to do here. You just wander around and you got to activate these things. Hey, we've got someone that's just loaded in behind us. Let's see who we got here. This is John117. Hey, John. How are you doing? Right. So, what the quests are, you have to... Bunny! Can you stop it? So you have to discover things for a scientific experiment of some kind or another. So you got to find eight BB-8 breaks, six outgrowths, and four thorns. Four thorns. That is pretty difficult for me to say. So this here is an outgrowth. If I remember correctly, yeah, that's an outgrowth. Right, and all you have to do is just work your way around there. Hey, player 8150. And yeah, you just have to stab absolutely everything. Take a reading of it. And then when you get back to the base, you get a buff. No idea if you get the same buff every time or not. So I think I'm actually going to completely clear out this section. And I didn't notice this before, but when you're here, you've got more health. you got 200 health. I swear that's new. I don't remember seeing that the other day when I was actually recording it. That's really strange. Hmm. Hey, we've got a lot of people around here. Wai Song, uh, Di Zhao. Hey, Dijal. I've seen that person here before. Oh, I love how you can step on boxes and break them. Like, that's a really cool dynamic thing that they've added in. So, I just noticed an outgrowth down here. Completely missed that when I was walking past earlier. Or, do they just randomly appear? Like, will it just suddenly flare up and turn into another thing? Hmm. Anything down this way? Uh, John and 9253. I wonder if you can run into the person who you raid in this section. That'd be pretty cool if you can. Right, so this should be able to interact with, because that's the same as what the thorns look like. But for some reason, it's not letting me. 
Hey, that's Eric. Uh, haven't met anyone that I actually recognize the name of lately. When I first came here, there was a lot of people from Discord. I ran, ran into Fuerza, uh, Doomerus, I think it was General Jax, uh, something like that. It, it was something like uh, General Jax or Commander Jax. But he then tagged me in Discord saying he saw me as well. Alright, how are we looking? Uh, it's going alright. I think this is another BB-8 break. Right, so we're about halfway there. Exactly halfway there now. Issue is, you can't clear out all of this in one go. You have to leave the area and come back again. From my own experience at least, I've only done this once because it just gave me a buff after just wandering around doing this for half an hour. Which I found to be a little bit on the disappointing side. Okay, hello sexy man. How are you doing? How are you doing? Sorry, that was that was an awful attempt at Joey from Friends. Hello, Friends. Have any of you sitting around there watching me watch Friends? Obviously not watched me watching Friends. That would be creepy. But have any of you watched the TV series Friends? I never watched it when I was younger. Didn't see it until I was in college and watched all ten seasons of it in the space of about a month. And uh, it's probably about a month and a half. Uh, yeah, got really addicted to it. And I'm actually currently wearing a Friends t-shirt. Right, let's get this one. I think I've seen it through probably a good five or six times now. Nah, that's a lie. It's more about seven or eight times all the way through. Anything over here? There's a lot of people grouped up. Group hug? Yay, group hug. Um, I wonder if I can get everyone to come together for a nice photo. Get a good photo shoot going on here. Come on, this is getting a bit boring now. Hey, we broke another box, aren't we? Cool. I think we're actually completely out of things to discover. Yeah, so do you see what I mean about this Sector 7 being disappointing at the moment? There's just not really anything to do here. Okay, let's get this one. That should be another break. Hey. Alright, so we need one more break, two more outgrowths, two more thorns. Right, I'm going to time lapse this bit quickly, so I'll see you all in a minute. Alright, and we are back getting our very last thorn. I wonder if they'll actually add in any kind of information about why we are doing all of this. Because it seems, at the moment, completely pointless. We're doing some scientific experiment, but for what? We don't know. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to watch an ad to get this. Alright, heading on our way over there. Can't tell if I need to sneeze or not. Like I feel like I need to, but it feels like one of those annoying sneezes where you're never going to actually sneeze. I hate it. Right, and we're coming back into the Sector 7 of the wall. Hello. Yay, finish the task. Complete it. Three out of three. And, yep, it gave us the same buff. A chance to inflict critical damage with firearms. Right, so we can do the next mission in 24 hours. So the buff, in theory, is going to last 24 hours then, yeah? Right, give me a second. Yep, nice 24 hour buff. No. Buff lasts for one hour. So if you're going to be doing this, you want to do your challenges just before activating bunker hard mode. So it will hopefully save you a couple of little gun bits. Alright, let's pour that all on. And I think we're actually going to end off the episode here. Ooh, I wonder, do you think I can wave in the radioactive armour? In the radioactive suit? Let's have a look. Get into a nice well lit area. Right. Yay, we can! Alright, thanks for watching everybody. See you next time. Remember, join Discord, join the giveaway, and follow me on Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe. See you all next time. Bye!